back to my channel. This is Lone Fox, and today we are doing a room transformation for my roommate's room. So we're not even doing mine yet. We're doing this one first. If you don't know my roommate, her name's Marie. Marie, come say hi. Hey. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. So Marie and I have actually lived together for like four years. Um, we just recently moved from downtown to Hollywood. So this is her new room. We actually, uh, this is like kind of what it's currently like. I'll make sure to film some clips like that you can actually see everything nice and good and freshly. We're just going to redo it and transform it and like go out, get some stuff, vlog it, all that fun stuff that you guys love. So I'm going to do that for you. Everything that I can also find that we do use in the video, I'm gonna make sure to link in the description box so you can find it if needed. And also if you guys are curious, this wall color, um, Marie actually had it painted like this from a painter. It is called Sue. Nami by Bear, so I'll leave that in the description below because I know a lot of you guys were curious about this color when I posted it and we first moved in. So that's kind of what we're working with as a statement wall. And then Marie got this headboard at Urban Outfitters, right? Yeah. Yeah, Urban Outfitters. And then we had it mounted as well with one of our friends' help. So that is already there, but this is kind of like pretty basic. And also Marie has these inspiration photos. This is the first inspo photo and then that's just the room. Here's the second inspo photo. So we're gonna attempt to make it look similar to this. Just got to Target and we're walking around looking for the home section. I've actually only ever been to this Target once. It's like the one close to our house, but I always go to the one with Nastasia and like Redondo Beach. So we found it, here it is. And now let's look for some options and items. We're in the pillow aisle, scavenging for pillows. Look, this is the exact color as Marie's like statement wall. And that's good because that new collection from Target has a lot of that color and then um, we found this one too, which I think is going to be good. So we'll just put these in here and see. Oh, there's even more over here. Ew, but these ones are kind of ugly. Oh, a little leaf tray. Gold tray. Check out this candle holder. So cute. So good. $12. They had the lamp that we wanted. Oh, I didn't even show them, I don't think. This is the lamp. But these ones, like, the lampshades are like dirty and like spotted so we got this but like a new one from the back oh we're going to the goodwill next to get like some trinkety things and like we can even spray paint things or like diy oh, yeah, them yeah, uh-huh brass it's the same one give me the ball give me the ball take it top shit got to goodwill and we're looking around to like a food network lunch box I think I need that. I love the Food Network. Marie found this pretty good fresh vintage piece. It's only one ninety nine. Yeah, and it looks like anthropology. We managed to find some pretty good things at the Goodwill. So many good things. Yeah, like I think we got like eight or nine things and it was $15.50 for all of them, including some of these really good marble um, like candle holders and like some trinkety thingies. But I will share them with you when we get home. I'll show you everything that we bought when we get home. I wanted to do like a miniature haul really fast just showing you everything that we bought. So you can see it all. So I'm just gonna start with the Target stuff. First is this pillow. Um, this is like a macrame style, very anthropology-esque pillow. And this is from that Opal House collection. It has like little gold sequins on it. And then we also got this pillow because how perfectly does this match the wall? Like this is the exact wall color, I think. The same color. I just love this shape right now and the side is so pretty. It just looks so vintage. We also got this because I think we're gonna put it directly above her headboard, like in the center. It's this really pretty brass, like round wall decor hanging piece. And this is from Target as well. It was $24.99. And also to play on that brass vibe as well. Got this lamp from Opal House range as well. Check out this. It has like this leaf shape on the bottom or leaf like imprint. And a couple more pieces from Target. Another hanging wall um, accessory. This was on clearance for like $8. A little candle holder. So the bottom's this gold, which again plays off all the gold. And then it has this um, glass, which we got a candle to go in it, which is Jasmine Bouquet. And last thing was this little sprig of flowers, which is from the Hearth and Hand um, collection. And then moving on, we got a couple things at Goodwill I was telling you guys about. So the first things that I found, which I think that are like the best, which I also realized are from Target. These are from like the Threshold Collection. They're called Green Marble Taper Holder Candles. Like, look how pretty these are. They are green marble candle holders and they have like this copper top to them. Also got this glass rhino, which matches my shirt quite nicely and even has the red. Like this is like a complete twinning moment right now. And then playing on that green glass vibe again. Like, do you remember the green glass uh, bowl that I got last time? Marie found this one, which is gonna be really nice to put maybe by her bed. Like she could put like things in there, lip glosses, like any you need at nighttime you know found this nice little vintage inspired uh glass bottle and it's that sea glass color like i'm just obsessed with glass that has this sort of blue tint to it and it's just like a tiny little mirror it was a dollar so why not go for it but look how pretty this plate is and then it just has like texture on it and like gold foiling 
and little motifs. So this is like a nice little trinket tray again. So that's everything that we got from both Target and Goodwill this morning. And I think we're gonna start putting things in the room, but I wanna share with you guys just like a quick collection of the furniture that we've been picking up over the past couple of weeks. In the living room here, we brought it all out. It was just like pushed against the wall in Marie's room, but we got all of these furniture pieces. Um, if you guys remember, this old bench used to be in my old bedroom. And then it's from CB Show. I'm letting Marie use it in her bedroom because I don't wanna get rid of it, but I don't have space in mine. So it's like perfect because it's gonna look great in hers. And then she got this world market like drum table. This, uh, these two pieces here, like this nightstand right here and then this little table right here are both from Home Goods. I think this chair is from Home Goods as well. And then we got a rug and a little stool from World Market. So there's just like some random furniture pieces kind of going off that inspo photo I was showing you guys. So Marie's room already has like this um, cowhide rug in here. So we're gonna do this like layered rug look, which was in one of those inspiration pictures, I believe. Or maybe we just thought of it on our own. I don't really know. Oh. Layered the rug down in like more of a diagonal style so that it kind of looks like mismatched because the cow hike's kind of like very random and organic. Looks V chic when you sit. Moving in the bench to go at the end of the oh. bed. It's perfectly. So I added one of the little Ikea sheepskins to the orange because I felt like the orange was kind of overpowering this like whole space here. So I think the sheepskin adds a really nice look to there. The gold lamp went there, which looks so good against the teal. And then over here we have this little chair, which I like the chair because I think it adds a bit like of a casual element to it. Um, it might add like a pillow to this or something. And then right over here so far, Marie has this thing, which we're just leaving on this wall because I think she wants to mount a TV here in the future, leaving this here. And then I put down this little home goods table that has like these resin crackles in it and it's like wood with the little uh, vintage inspired legs and a plant on it and then this little stool I'm gonna see how it looks like here because like Marie doesn't really have anyone coming over like no shade but they don't need any space to get in the bed over here like we need a foot rest so I'm not sure if we like this above the bed it kind of just like the bed, like the this headboard here is already so much detail that when you add that up there, it kind of just looks like a lot. To putting this like in the center here and then putting this directly in the center so it's like right up there. But that is the progress so far. It's like almost done actually, it was pretty quick. Like we are just um, moving everything in and then we're just gonna decorate it with all the new stuff that we got. We're only gonna do the top as well because like there's four sets, but we're not gonna put anything heavy on it. This wall is 36 and a half, so it needs to be 18 and a quarter. <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> I'm really good at math, actually, I'm not kidding. So having to film an impromptu DIY because these prongs are sticking so far back that you actually can't get this in the hole, like unless the nail was like this far off from the wall for some reason, so dumb. So I'm taking a piece of this string and I'm gonna go through here, go through here and create my own hanging loop. Isn't that a good idea? Yeah, that's actually so smart. Right over my Hung it. <gasps> So now every piece that needs to be hung or like placed is in here. And now we're just gonna decorate it with all the decorations that we bought. Guys, the room is complete. First of all, look how good it looks from this view. Like if you wanted to take a photo, yes. And I'm gonna share with you the final results in like a really good freshly edited clip right about now. Mm -hmm. 